America. There's a disease that is crippling America. It's not MDS, it's not cancer, it's not even AIDS. People with exenophobe or exenophobians from birth have no head. Their life is a total mixture of confusion and chaos. It's a quiet disease. Most people haven't heard about it. But it's deadly. It's silent and it's deadly and it's killing Americans. <laughs> she is not an exenophobe. <laughs> Excuse me, can you tell me what an exenophobian is? I'm sorry, I don't know. Did you know that 92% of the population are exenophobians? They are? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, could you tell me? Can't look at the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Um, xenophobes. <laughs> oh my god, I think I smoked one once. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Where? Where'd you get that? Two hours? And did you know that exenophobes, uh, Include 92% of the population. No. <laughs> Do you know what an exenophobe is? A what? An exenophobe? No. Can you take a guess at exactly what an exenophobe is? No. Well, I have to say that penguins should live and that they are in existence of their own being around their being. You see, this is this, it's nothing else. It's this. <laughs> it reminds me of a quote that Confucius once said. He who stands on toilet seat is high on toilet. <laughs> I thank you. Well, why just ask me what the state of Kansas city, capital, whatever? What's the city of, what's the capital city of Kansas? I don't know. An xenophobian? Yeah. I say elephant. <laughs> Did you know Type that? animal? Uh, well, you're close, but did you know 90% of Americans are xenophobians? Uh, Is that something like homo sapiens? <laughs> what a what? An xenophobian? An xenophobian? I have absolutely no idea. Xenophobians don't have an easy life. But then again, people with no heads usually don't. There is hope. The JJP Fund for the Headless is one option. Join us tomorrow as we investigate others. Hello? No, I don't think I met you. What's your name? No, my hair's not dark brown. No, I'm not that tall. No, I don't wear that size. <laughs> You must be thinking of my sister. <laughs> no, she's only 13. I'm not going to set you up with my sister. <laughs> my mom? Yeah, don't say it. <laughs>
Hi, my name is Harmony Blossom, and I'm hanging out at this dress. Denise Alvedris. Hi, I'm Jackie Rubin. This is cohesiveness. This is the. We're very uh, cohesive. We're very cohesive. This is the speech banquet '92, and we're excited. We're really excited to be here. Very excited. We are now following Chris. Chris Cipolla. He is chasing after a woman he does not know. What lines will he use? Only Chris and God know that. Okay. There she is. She's getting a little bit frightened, and why not? A total stranger is really? following her. I thought maybe you were. Hi, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, is that all we had to do? That's all we had to do. Oh, or something. Oh, sorry. Well, anyway. Not this time around. Okay, well, I have to go to class. <laughs> Very nice meeting you. Are you, like, winning an award or something? Or? I don't know. I hope so. Well, if you do want an award, it's kind of famous. Okay. okay. First of all, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is uh, Eric Weinbaum. You are? Ashley. That's a nice name. And you are? Shannon. That's also a not bad name. So, uh, where are you both from? Irvine. Irvine. We have so much in common. You know that I attend Irvine High School? Really? It's a fact. <laughs> so, are you, so are you like a senior? Yeah. And you're like a senior? Mm-hmm. And uh, what big one is this? What are you doing? Yearbook. This is a yearbook? Yeah. Look at this. What, they so, give a banquet for yearbooks? Yeah. No. So like, on the yearbook. Yeah. On the yearbooks. They all come I would have this idea, like, if you can have, like, your people, like all, all you can have, like, our people, you can have, like, our people, you can have, like, our people and your people, like, do lunch, and we can have, like, a big yearbook of, like, Irvine and Wood, but you'll be like, no. Actually, no, but I could be here for your book. <laughs> Anything to make you happy. Excuse me, what is your what is your name? Lene Topanko, Lene Marie Topanko. And tell me something. Oh, we can hear you. I dance and I sing and I love speech so much. This is my first year in speech, by the way. I'm you sorry, that's just not amusing enough. Dudley do right at the Utah. Dudley do right. Not only did not have stubble, but was in fact an animated cartoon. How do you explain that? <laughs> did not that? have stubble? He had stubble. It's just right. impossible to animate stubble. Oh, oh, stubble move. And to prove that I am Dudley do right, how old is now? I have no <laughs> idea. Thirty-seven and a half.
number one is an astrologist, an engineer for top bureaucratic firms, and a preschool teacher, teacher for gerbils. In her spare time, she sells linoleum and drops helpless staff off tall buildings. She hopes to one day own a small town in the Antarctic. Say hello to Jenny Kravitz. Yeah. That's right, number two, describes herself as artistic and open. A talented actress gives appearance <laughs> on the game show to edit un gringo, but man, I don't care anyway. She has an avid interest in <laughs> dolphin teddy. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, and making small meals to sell with her mouth. <laughs> okay, keep going. Say hello to Tristan Uter. Oh. Uter. Okay, go on to the next one. Stop the cat. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Number three is a dental detection. She is an avid admirer of Lovecraft and dabbles in the occult, including voodoo and black magic. And her hobbies include turning ad executives. <laughs> <laughs> into, into small furry sub creatures. Say hello to Deidre and Baker. And now for the best. Claude Jeremico is a self-styled lumberjack and drug dealer who owns a port. He loves the great outdoors as well as a cozy fireplace lit indoors, but prefers the inner spaces and peacefulness of the fifth dimension. He is into Zen, Taoism, and spelling his name right. Why don't we begin by having the bachelorette say hello.
You are a nice little penguin.